Hello, it's Reviews Day Tuesday, it's time for a new Mouse Reviews, and today I am going to be reviewing the film Parasite. This is the 2019 South Korean dark comedy thriller, directed by Bong Joon-ho, who also wrote the screenplay with Han Jin Won. At the weekend, it became the first non-English language film to win the Best Picture Oscar, and also at the award ceremony it picked up the awards for Best Director, Best International Feature Film, and Best Original Screenplay. It has also won numerous other awards since it premiered at the Cannes Film Festival last May. Firstly, a note about spoilers. As is usual with my reviews, I'm going to try not to include spoilers. However, I am going to be talking vaguely about some of the themes and some of my favourite scenes. So if you haven't seen Parasite yet and you want to see the film and be completely surprised by it, then maybe don't watch this review until after you have seen the film. I went into the film with very little prior knowledge and I really enjoyed seeing the film that way. Use your judgement. This isn't going to be a review with spoilers, but you know, I will inevitably be talking about the film a bit. So on to the review. Parasite is a film about two families, the poor Kim family who live in a small basement flat and the wealthy Park family. The Kim family manipulate their way into the Park household as various employees. Where to start with this film? I saw Parasite yesterday and I'm still thinking about it. It has stuck in my mind really well. The plot is pretty simple and relatively straightforward. As we progress through the film there are increasing amounts of twists and turns and surprises, but it's never messy, there's never anything superfluous. We're guided through the film, there's nothing to distract us as an audience from what we're supposed to be paying attention to. And the result of this is that I feel like I could pretty much recount the film from beginning to end. You know, it was so memorable to me. The look of the film, the direction, the cinematography, the look of where the film is set. One of my favourite scenes in the film is when the Kim family are walking from this posh, fancy house to their own tiny, haphazard, squalid home, travelling down, down, down through the city as things get dirtier and busier and louder and more treacherous. It was so striking and the film is full of scenes like that, where so much is explained to the audience in a second. I love the first scene where we meet the Kims and they're trying to leech the Wi-Fi from their neighbours, something which I could relate to from back in the day. The use of stairs and levels throughout the film, the recurrence of the idea of the Kim family having a specific smell and the distinctive smell that people who use public transport have. And the performances by the cast are amazing. The characters feel so distinct and recognisable and the relationships between them. I loved how every one had their shortcomings but also things about them that were endearing. Although in the film I was often on the side of the Kims, I related more to them I guess, I was rooting for them. I didn't feel like the rich Park family were demonised, I didn't feel like I was against them. The music in this film, I loved it so much. It suited the tone and it set the tone so well. I also loved how we would switch so quickly between comedy to thriller and back again and back again, so seamlessly and sometimes without you even really noticing. There's so much to think about in this film, which is one of the things that I love so much about it. There are the themes of social inequality and class and capitalism, subjects that are prevalent and that people will have experience of and views on. What is the title referring to? Because of course the Kim family can be seen as parasites who are leeching off the Park family and who are trying to extract what they can from life and their situation and their surroundings but then there are plenty of things leeching off them, including the Park family, and there are definitely things that are extracted from, taken from the Kims as the story progresses. And the ending, plenty to think about there, not going to go into any detail at all, but you know, what's going to happen next? I loved this film, there's probably so much that I'm forgetting to even talk about. I didn't want the film to end, there were a couple of moments where I thought the film was about to end and then there'd be another twist and I was happy because it meant I got to stay watching the film. I plan on watching the film again and again, I wish it was on at more cinemas near me. I went to a cinema that I never even knew had existed yesterday to see it, so thank you to Parasite for introducing me to a new cinema. I definitely recommend this film, go see it if you can. It's easily my favourite film that I have seen in a few years, and I wouldn't be surprised if in a few more viewings it becomes my favourite film ever. I will give Parasite 4.9 out of 5. I thought it was pretty much perfect. It's entertaining, it's fun, it's funny, it's bleak, it's angry, it's sad, it's thoughtful, it's surprising, and it's satisfying. I'd really love to know what you think about Parasite if you have seen it. Did you love it as much as I did? Please do mark any spoilers that you include in your comments. So that is it for today, I have praised Parasite for long enough I think. Let's move across to the end screen if you'd like to see my latest video or some more reviews then you can do so below me here, and you can also subscribe to my channel or visit my website if you wish to beside me here and if you fancy checking out my patreon page the link to that is in the description below i hope you have a fantastic day and i will see you soon